Hey, quick video on how to do push uh, notifications using uh, Flutter. And that means also using cloud functions in my case. I, so I don't uh, directly send push messages from my app, but I let the Firebase cloud functions handle them. So how does it all work? Well, uh, basically I have a message class set up in, uh, in my code, but just a Dart class and the message class uh, is then extended as a, either a group message or a user message. Group is for chatting and user is for targeting a specific user. So you have your author, your body, your images, your timestamp and um, a message type. Now and then finally it's extended as being, uh, for instance, let me see here, the user message. So it contains a user ID and even a state because it can be the state is like unread or read or archived. And uh, I'm not sending anything, I'm just adding it to Firestore, just I'm creating the user message. And uh, that's just fine. Huh? I'm uh, creating the, uh, the message inside the database. And what happens then is that the Firestore triggers. So I've defined in my index a trigger that says, okay, whenever there is a new user message stored inside the database, feed that snapshot to a trigger function. So when the function is executed, it says, oh, all right, there's a new message. And uh, the message is then being read. So I've made a serializer to get the actual object, uh, which does a, this is like the, uh, the, the message. And it has a reader so that it uh, transforms the, the, the document snapshot from Firestore into a user message. This is TypeScript, by the way. Eh? I'm not using JavaScript, I'm using TypeScript because on some site it said you should, so I converted everything. Well, anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm building a user message object because I wanted strong type because otherwise you're just reading data stuff from a document snapshot and that's all dynamically typed i don't I, I don't really want that so okay so this is still the trigger function eh? you do your user message and then your user message is finally executing this one the send push notification to tokens and i've made it so that you can configure if you want that push notification so every user has a map that push notification settings and if the map value is true for this type of notification then it gets sent out now and this is where the actual sending happens you can see it here just doing some basic basic checking and then this is where we construct the actual message now i'm using a multicast message which you can send out to a lot of tokens at once i think a max of 500 I haven't made any paging here, so if it's more than 500, it's probably going to error out. I'll have that to add that later on. And this is then the function which actually sends out the message. Admin.messaging and the admin is, you see here, included Firebase admin. So this one sends out this message. It sets, uh, forces the badge on iOS to zero. I had some problems with setting the badge to one but never clearing so we we'll am just make sure the badge is, is zero this one seems to be the default on android and then it's just a notification so it's not a data message it's just a notification it's very, pretty simple just a title and a body and then i'm delivering that to a lot of tokens you can put an array in there and then afterwards what i'm doing is i'm getting the batch response from the multicast message function which contains all the failures and the success entries. And I use those failures to clean up tokens that are not used anymore. So if the token error was like either invalid or not registered any anymore, I push them to a new array and then I'm feeding that array to a remove tokens function, which is basically getting the user with the token, uh, just getting a user I'm doing a collection uh, um, a query on the users where the tokens array contains. And then I'm getting the user with the token and then I can remove it. So 
this is actually pretty uh, a nice, I think, pretty elegant code to send out uh, a um, a push notification, and it's all handled by Firebase. So I'm, the only thing I'm doing in my app is storing a user message in a, in the in the Firestore backend, and then Firestore itself triggers the cloud functions, and the cloud functions then push out the the, the message. So I think that's a very nice system because then you shift away some of the logic out of your app and into the actual cloud backend. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, little video.